Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Well, welcome back everybody. Um, this is Tilly. Um, she's kept us up all night crying because she didn't want to be on her own um, and now she's fast asleep. It's typical. Um, she needs a good bath because as I said she was found in a storm drain and the lady that we got her from she only collected herself on the Monday and we got collected her yesterday which was Tuesday so she's not had a bath yet because we didn't want to traumatise her too much when she got home yesterday. Um, I don't want to wake her up at the moment, although I probably should because she kept us up all night. Um, so yeah, when she wakes up it'll be bath time and I need to nip into town and get some baby biscuits for her, some junior biscuits. Um, Andy's cracking on with the floor which is looking great. Um, so yeah, I'm off into town and uh, I'll hand you over to Andy. Right, okay, so the floor's coming along. Um, I've got another three down. Um, Tilly Mint still fast asleep in a bed in the corner. Um, the other cats have taken quite well to them. Some of them are curious. Alfie's just been following her around all yesterday afternoon. Um, but yeah, so it's looking, it's looking quite promising. Um, I'm coming now to the end of this base. So I'm going to try and get, I'm going to get another one down there and another two here, taking me onto that um, uneven bit. And then I'm going to have a workout to see how far I can go, um, not easy, but at least having some down gives me a bit of an easier idea to work it out how far they're going to go. I'm just trying to tile down dry so I know roughly what I want to put under it. Roughly. <laughs> it's the, this floor's not level, even though it kind of appeared to be. It's nowhere near. So, get a good bed down and then, yeah, I've had a seal them before, <laughs> anything that comes on the top, it just wipes off now. I'm getting better at it, slowly. Fab. Right, I shall carry on. And look who's helping, I've got another helper now. Alfie's over there supervising. And Tilly Mint is um, here supervising. You're a good girl, aren't you? You're helping. Um, right, I'm pondering this. I'm running out of towels rapidly, or potentially. Oh, walk on there, please. They're all wet. You sit down here with me. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a full row down here, and then as many full ones as I can to here. I've got five here that have just got the, the little corner broken off, and they're almost full tiles throughout the edges. Uh, I'll need to pop over to Chris and Lillian's. He's got quite a few similar um, to see how many they've got. But for now, I'm going to carry on. I think I'm going to do this area with full ones as much as I can. I'm probably going to let this go off properly um, so we can walk on it to access the cooker while I do this side. Um, it's not easy living on a building site and trying to work around your work, especially when it takes a while to go off stuff like this. But it's looking great. I think it's looking, you can see the potential now. Right, time to bring the next water tiles through one at a time this takes forever in a day 
don't want to carry more than one because I don't want to risk breaking them. So you won't get them in. Right, as I say, I'm going to start down here. We've agreed we don't need to use a cooker for the rest of today. We've got one upstairs, we've got a barbecue outside. As you've just seen, it's a nice day. And um, we've got options open to us, not to mention a pizza oven. So I'm going to start, get some, try and get some down here. Um, I need quite a bit of a bed under these. So I'm just going to level them on plant chain and then <laughs> add. Uh, some water over the top of this should set them nicely uh, I think in the meantime Sharon's gonna give Tilly a bath because she stinks she smells she smells of drains it's not your fault though is it eh? you can't help me you're having a bath you're having a bath <laughs> I'm sure you'll like that <laughs> come on then Tilly so there she is just drying out in the sunshine. She was a very good girl, wasn't too sure at first, and I'm wet through, probably wetter than she is. But she's all oh, nice and clean now, aren't you? Hey, she's a good girl. Good girl. Right, so I've got another three down, it's taking shape. Um, I'm not getting any faster, I don't think, although I guess I must be. And it doesn't seem to be getting any easier. But I don't mind, I'm taking my time with it, get it absolutely perfect. Um, I'm gonna leave it there for today though. Let these dry and then tomorrow, hopefully, we can sort of walk around that way and I can carry on, do a bit more of this. Can you hear that? <laughs> She's fast asleep now, snoring her head off. I think she's worn out after all the excitement today of having a bath. But she desperately needed one. As I say, she was found in a storm drain, her and um, her mother and the rest of the puppies. And it was only this one, another girl and a, a male that survived. Um, some of them had had their tails docked and others hadn't. She's one that's had the tail docked. Why on earth somebody would bother to do that and then dispose of them? I don't know, it's beggar's belief really. But she's quite a happy little girl now. She's had something to eat. She's got her new biscuits. She seems to be liking them. And um, yeah, she had a traumatic few weeks but her life should get better from here on in. Of course, the cats are all getting on okay with her, which is the main thing. Um, apart from little Alf because he likes to be top dog or top cat in his case. Um, so he growls at her a little bit and she just wants to play. Um, but the rest, they're absolutely fine with her. Mr Fluffy in particular is not bothered at all. Um, he's the one that we recently acquired, was a stray. So I'm guessing he's come perhaps from a farm um, and been used to other cats and uh, dogs around. Um, so yeah, little baby. He's trying to play with Jesse, but Jesse can't see him. <laughs> he doesn't know, he doesn't understand. You play nice with Jesse. <laughs> so, in the old corral, <laughs> there's three of them sat on the worktops um, looking at her. Uh, she, she just wants to play with them, but she plays even at that size a bit hard for cats. <laughs> <laughs> when she calms down, they, they, they have a little sniff and say hello and stuff, but at the minute... <laughs> well, we've got a beautiful day today, again. I think we'll be down to t-shirts in a bit. Um, I've got three more tiles to put down that I've got prepared. Um, I'm going to get them down and then start polishing the others. First one, one at a time.
She's asleep now, to the strange sleeping position. Well there we are, and um, that's all the tiles that I've got prepared, polished, down. But it means now I've got space in the workshop to do the rest of them, or to make a start on the rest of them. As I said earlier, I'm going to see what full tiles I can get in here. Um, I'm going to pop over to Chris and Lillian's the Tales on the Cave side next day or so to see what we've got in the way of decent sized damaged ones the corners broken off and then we'll be able to work out what we've got but I think we're gonna we're gonna do it I've got five which should do over that side and if, if Chris has got another five or so there we should get them where we're gonna put make it like a crazy paving out of them but I don't really want to do that um, if we can help it but we might have no choice we'll see the next thing to do is to get the next lot, I'm using the wrong cloth, onto here, ready for sanding. It's not bad actually. Starting with the broken one that I repaired, which is over here. It's actually a fine, a fine repair of this corner that I've come off. So Get him on there ready. Another one safe, trying to break anymore. We're really struggling. I'm just going to bring six in and I can reach them easily across the table and then start sanding them. the first lot are in, we're just going to check the surfaces, any bits stuck on them. You always miss a couple of bits. <laughs> Not bad. Get them, we're going to wet them, we're going to polish them, sand them wet. And Alf is coming to supervise, as always. And, um, get all the dust off in case any of the dust on it is bigger than our 500 grit that we're going to be polishing them with. Stay long, he's straight out there because you didn't realise that <laughs> Chili's here. Chili's in. Cool, right let's do it. Right the compressor's on. Um, 
people quite often ask about what the noises are in here. That noise you can hear now, the compressor's in a soundproof box um, and it's got a big extractor fan on top of it. Um, this is what you can hear right now. Other times the water pump's running, um, other times it's just a noise from the inverter when it's working flat out, when it's working hard. Anyway, so, that's that. So I've got a bucket of clean water. We've got our 500 grit stone sanding pad on our air polisher. We just wet it down, um, make it nice and smooth and flat. And clean, of course. So when I've done, I just run my fingers over them, just looking for any rough bits, make sure it's all super smooth. When we're done, I don't know if you can see that, but you get like a paste um, comes off it. That's the base of the top layer of the, the marble and not any messy stuff that's on there. Um, just for interest. Right, we've got 10 done. Should be able to get all 20 done today, hopefully. The sun holds out. Um, I've stacked 10 on the floor. I'm going to stack 12 on the floor. Leave eight on here. I can fit 12 on here, but we want it to be bone dry. So with a little space I can dry it off, shuffle them around in time to get the bottoms dry as well. So I shall carry on, we're doing well. And of course you get the the vertical the horizontal stripe from the sand and when we go to cutting with the wet cutter, we'll have a vertical stripe. Right, there we go, that's 20 done. 12 down there, 8 on here. I'm going to dry this bench off a bit and then I can slide them up and dry that bit and then when that's dry, slide them back if that makes any sense at all. To get the underneath dry as well, it does work, we did it before. <laughs> so, once they're dry, um, we can get, um, get them sealed up and then they can go on the floor. Look at the dust coming off this. Wow. Right, cool, let's carry it on. Would you believe it? We're doing so well. I just pulled the corner off another one. Um, I'm going to stick it back together like I did with that other one. But for now, I think I'll move him over onto the, the other bench. Oh dear, because they'll need sanding again once I've fixed it. That's how easy they break. Hopefully we'll have better joy with the rest of them. I literally just pulled it like that and it broke. I do think they're more prone to breaking when they're wet as well. Not to worry, we'll sort it out. So they're drying nicely. Um, after leaving now till the morning, then um, in the morning we'll get a couple of coats of sealer on them. It's a bit damp this morning. Um, not much sun, not much solar power. I'm glad I got all those tiles um, sanded off yesterday. Go and have a look, they should be dry. Let's get some sealer on them. It's even dark in here this morning. Um, we haven't got any lights in here. We've never needed them. We don't usually need them. Um, these are dry and lovely now. Um, check the underneath. Oh yes, super. So, I'm going to get a total of 12 on here and um, get them sealed up, ready to go on the floor. Quite often, uh, even though I wash them down, it still leaves a bit of a residue on them. So they all need a good buff up with a nice dry cloth first 
Um, so I'll get that sorted and get them sealed. Oh, these are all dry as well. I repaired that one, I broke yesterday. Been incredibly careful not to break any more. We had a bit of a calculation again. We should just about have enough. Here we go then, time for the first coat. I'll give them all a good do and then it takes 30 minutes to an hour for this to dry and then I can um, give them a second one. Exciting stuff. Right, there we go, another two coats done. Um, it dries so quickly actually, this stuff fantastic. So, um, let's let them to dry properly now, overnight again, and then hopefully we can get some down. Maybe get some down in a bit, I'm not sure yet. See how it goes. Right, oh, we've got to pop over to Chris and Lillian's, tell us on the cave side this afternoon, to see what we've got in the way of tiles. But we reckon we've got enough time to get a few more down, hopefully, and um, keep making it bigger. Um, Excellent. So Shannon's just doing a mix. Um, as soon as that's done, I brought some tiles in. As soon as that's done, um, we'll be on it again. Here we go. Make sure go the right way around. <laughs> the right place as well. I think we're actually getting a little bit better at this. We'll just pile it up in the middle and then squish it out. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> that actually seems to work really well. So we've got to the edge of the the lime creek floor bit. Look at Tilly, can you see Tilly? <laughs> you can't be comfortable there girl. Um, and we've got a massive hole here now, it's going to be the way going forward. So we've got two tiles down, um, we're just going to fill this up and bring the level up a bit to make laying the tiles a, a lot easier, give us a nice flat um, surface to lay on. We've got one bucket in, Sharon's just knocking up another one and um, yeah, but yeah, it's looking all right. Is it more, a bit more of that? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. That's great. Any more down there? All of it everywhere. I'll spread it around. Right. It's 
dug in the middle, I'll spread it, actually. Now when you're trying to fill it up with it. Smash in. Uh. It's okay, let's do it. <laughs> Sealed them first. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's why. There we go. Those don't come above the original four. Over there. Over there. Gives us a head start for the next one. Well, there we go. Um, not bad for a carpenter. <laughs> it says. Um, we got as much done as we can today. As I said earlier, we need to go and see Chris and Lillian because um, he's got a lot of big broken tiles there. Tilly's been a very good girl. Yes. I'm just trying to keep her off the, yes, the wet stuff. Yes, trying to keep off the wet concrete. <laughs> so, <laughs> easier said than done at times. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, that's us for now. And um, we'll be carrying on with this, um, well, in the next video, of course. Hopefully getting nearer to completion. It's going rather well. So thank you so much for watching. And um, thanks to all our subscribers. Of course, all our Patreons. Thank you so much. Everyone that's bought us a coffee or a beer. It's getting a bit warm outside. And, um... From, From me and Tilly, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>